Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Into the Radius. Just fixing up this shotgun we found on our last run because, well, here's the thing. It's very clear now that our needs are going to be increasing. We've always had a surplus, but look, this armor, not in the best of shape. We're going to need more soon. Not to mention, if we're going to have the kind of fire coming at us like we had in last episode, we're also probably going to want to grab a helmet as well. Which means we're going to have to spend a whole lot of money. We need to invest in ourselves even more than we already have. So for that reason, we are officially in the firearm restoration business. Because I believe these things can easily go for like over a thousand per. We're definitely going to sell that AKM because we're never going to use it. I just love the AKS-74 so much. But also, it's not just the bullets coming at us. Not just the greater volume of enemies. But also, elements beyond our comprehension. Those things that the game called sliders. I'm going to be going back into that zone today. But only once I'm a little bit better equipped. You guys have given me a lot of good advice on some of the things that we saw there. And I think I need to go back and have another look for myself. So, in addition to the thousand we're getting from that last haul, we will also get, how much from this? Another only 300. Uh, that's not even really worth the gun oil. And you, which we know is worth a lot more. 2,500. That's much more of a nice cushion. Now, unfortunately, we do actually have quite a lucrative job in the jerk zone. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting to that this episode or not. I'm going to try. We do need to figure out what's going on here in order to get at these jobs in Pachor's Castle. But first, I'm going to take a cleanup job at Pobeda Factory. I mean, I am basically a death machine now, so I could definitely stand to earn some money and some looting while we're at it. Ah, there's our first victim. And where are we clearing out? Pretty much just on the opposite end of the factory grounds. Uh, which is good. I wasn't really aiming to get into a shootout inside the factory itself. But we got plenty of ammo to deal with everything else we may encounter along the way. And not to mention, we've also got to look for some anomalies, which we haven't really done a whole lot of artifact hunting in the clusters at Pobeda Factory. Oh, it sounds like there's probably like a whole squad of dudes in there. Let's try moving through here, maybe? Uh, I'm actually real scared of all the sounds coming from inside the main floor. Especially if they can see my light through these windows and are now coming towards me. That would really, really be regrettable. Yep! They seem to be a little bit glitched in the corner, so you know what? I'm going to take that as a blessing and just keep moving. Uh, that's a rift in there somewhere. And there's a dude... See if we can crouch down and, well, not avoid him, but, you know, take him out preemptively. That's kind of far. <sighs> yeah, maybe we do actually try to avoid him. He's decently far away now. Down behind the cars. They can actually see from a pretty good distance. I mean, the AI in this is surprisingly very capable. Uh, but this is not going to be an easy one. Oh, they're inside the building. The building itself being infested might actually not be the worst thing for us right now. Unless they do count towards our objective. In which case, we're going to have to go all the way back and climb back in. Yeah, no, I think it's this field right here is what we're actually meant to be dealing with. And I can certainly hear what's out there. Who's out there? Yep, whole bunch he is. Here, one down. Now's not the time for tracking problems. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them out there. 
We just need to be in a good position. Unless, of course, they're going to try and rush us. Another one down. Seeker, potentially. See, seeker, 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 seeker. Oh, come on. Yeah, these guys are quite quiet indeed. All right, uh, mag out, new mag in. Uh, still doing okay on health. Still hear noises from over there. I have to continually check to make sure you're not coming up behind. Oh, I did not expect Seekers to be mixed with shooters. More in the building. And you're down too. Now question, is that our objective complete? It is. Okay. Now for the looting. And there's more things coming! Drawn by the fire, not to be outdone. Oh, it took the bullet for him! Not gonna be enough, though. Ah, oh, these things are like bats in Minecraft. They always manage to take the arrow for the mobs. Uh, now, I, I do actually believe that these things use human shields. I've, I've noticed that they tend to hang back more when there's, like, phantoms advancing on me. I mean, that could just be, like, a perception of smarter AI, but that's really all... <laughs> that's really all good AI is, is when they can convince you that they're smart, right? You down. How are we doing on ammo? Ten rounds? I think that's enough for you. Uh, the ammo costs alone are quite a bit. Uh, let's get in here to see if there's anything worth looting. I think this is actually the place where we found all those guys clustered up. And they're still doing it. Okay, this spawn is definitely bugged. I think it might have something to do... Ow! I didn't see you back there. I think it has something to do with that anomaly. Oop. Ten rounds, plenty for you as well. Ow! Oh, they're just everywhere. Okay, zig and zag and zig and zag. Oop. No, you don't. Okay. Last mag. We still have some in the other one, but we want to top off if we're going to be getting shot at. Where is that guy? A yep, whole bunch he is. Yeah, we're making a lot of noise. It's going to be just like a rolling firefight if we try to do this and just fight everything. Camaraderie. No, can't be it. What's it saying? Contrary? No. Radius. Hang on. I gotta deal with uh, this spider infestation. Come on, ow! Uh, look how it sticks on the wall like that. Radius, what's your message? Come to me. Eureka. I'm on my way. Okay, so if that's the case, and the zone actually does try to, like, lure people closer to the center, then I know I've been on this train for the entire game, but does that mean that it's more evidence that Katya is lying to us? I mean, look, in the beginning of the game, we were completely out of our mind in a place that doesn't even exist within the zone, and we have no memory of anything that came before. So, how are we supposed to trust our perception of anything? Plus that note saying the base is completely abandoned? For all we know, we're some nutjob just giving him self-missions. And here you come. Okay, get to cover, get to cover, get to cover. Crouch down. You're moving up. Guy, please, thank you. More is going to be coming now. I would really appreciate it if my belt would stop moving away from me. You're a seeker. I, I do wonder if these aren't the power lines that it was talking about in that note. The ones which may potentially contain regen anomalies? I mean, artifacts? 
Let's see if we can do this with the Glock. Yeah, we can. Well, I'll say this. It is really nice to have the safety Glock actually be put to real use in a game. Okay, yeah. I am really confused now about where I can and can't go. Because it seems like sometimes I throw a thing and it works, and sometimes I throw a thing and it doesn't. And I really am not in any position to be using health right now. I'm trying to make money here, not spend it. And I'm not really seeing, like, I don't know how to do this when the anomalies are invisible. That's a big thing. I mean, maybe I can get over to that guy over there. I have to throw forward and down. Yep, we're not going that way. And I know people are going to be like, D it changes color when you got to look somewhere. Look, I have to follow the path that's not going to kill me before I worry about what direction anything is in. I think I just navigated clear through it, actually. And you've got nothing. The way. Uh, will we be able to make it through there? I think maybe. Through here, perhaps? Uh, yeah, we are going no further. There we go. Okay. Oh, they really, really make us work for it here, huh? Oh, come on! Okay, this is not gonna be uh, tenable. Over here. Maybe we can climb up this? Oh, no, we can't. Okay, let's hope this thing blocks your line of sight as much as mine. No, it won't. Well, that helps at least. I don't know if we're going to be able to go for the other one. Maybe we can get through to here. There we go. Uh. Good day, sir. Uh, and there's more still. Well, at least we're justifying the use of that health kit. Uh, not really, though. Man, even when you're coming home with, like, a full inventory full of goodies, which is getting harder and harder to do, it's just so expensive to just maintain what it takes to go out there that I feel like I'm kind of stuck in the same range. Alright, let's get this guy and see what we can loot from here. Hopefully there's some good boxes of loot. Hmm. To the head of the quarry, Comrade M.V. Chekarids, purchased due to the depletion of supplies for blasting in the quarry, 18 tons of ammonium nitrate in bags of ZPSHK, uh, type 800 meters of detonating cord. Hmm, so they're storing explosives around here. I wonder if that's something we can't get at. Then again, is that something we want? I have no idea what that was. I really hope APCs aren't just going to be roaming the landscape now. Let's see if we can see if there's anything in that tower. We weren't able to climb up there before because we were coming from below. This should be a little different. How are we doing on ammo? Only two left, so we'll replenish soon. What is that that keeps making those noises? Thank you, autosave. I could really use your help right about now. Definitely somebody up there. Only four rounds? Not enough. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna load up the safety Glock, and we're gonna have to very quickly one-hand this thing. 
So we need to be ready. No. Now would actually be a good time for that one-handed shotgun. Let's figure out where you are first. Well, that was pretty intense. It was also like half our magazine. We're gonna have to clear out soon enough. We got a whole truckload of NATO goods missing. Our scout has spotted it at the Pobeda factory the other day. It got stuck on a pillar at the far side of the quarry. Radius alone knows how it got there. Now, what have you got? Oh, I can't see inside because there's a dead guy in the way. Well, we got one of these. That's nice. Some ammo. Is there anything else in there? Uh, no, that looks to be it. All right, made some money. Now, our thing is also going off. Is that someplace? Oh, it's the anomaly cluster down there. Okay, we'll grab some of that and then we'll head home through Balotki Village. Hopefully get some more done on the way. Yeah, I'm actually finding it far easier to grab the sides, but sometimes, like, these tracking problems cause your hands to get stuck, like, on the opposite side of the ladder, and then you can't move. Wait. Oh, there's another one right here. Found two new, uh, anomalies? I think that's what the UNPSC nerds called them. There was this moving cloud of greenish gas that patrolled the village. I don't know what it does, but I wasn't eager to find out. Some sort of electric thingy. Threw some empty brass at it, and it sparked like crazy. Gotta avoid those. What do you mean, roamed the village? Another type of moving anomaly. That's just what I need. Right, how do we penetrate this thing? There we go. And there's more. Another night eye. Through here, there we go. And what are you? Another regen. Excellent. We're probably going to keep that one for our mission into the jerk zone. Oh, trap camera. And also some buddies walking around. I think trying to get the drop on people is the right way to go. You? Yeah, this thing definitely good against them. Uh, but the hitboxes are so annoying. Especially since when it comes to VR, like, you never really know when you're in cover. Yeah, still that note for the red valve. But let's get in here and, oh, come on. I, this game really needs a jump button. Great, there's another one. Let's not stand in front of the explosive barrels. Ow. Oh, come on. Yep, we are completely out of ammo. Well, I guess we still have some in that other mag, but we need to get out of here now. I think we did okay, better towards the end than on our main objective. But we've got to gear up big time and head back into the Jerk Zone, whose name I never bothered to learn. Job complete. I think that's the most we've been paid for a non-job task, or at least a non-priority task. And we have so much to sell. Of course, we're gonna keep that regen artifact. We've got two healing things on us. And as for our armor, 
Yeah, I think we're gonna buy a new one preemptively. I mean, look, for all the punishment this thing has been through, it probably could survive another run, but I just don't want to chance it. There's a lot on the line here. If we were to try and sell it, what would we actually get for it in this stage? $71? Not worth it. I'd rather have it for later, but we'll just keep it right here for now. Another 2402? Not bad at all. And now we can buy our new stuff. Is it worth it to grab the AK suppressor knowing that we're not gonna be using subsonic ammo? I mean, it's gonna be AP all the way, but maybe it'll make us a little bit quieter? I mean, in real life, not in the way that matters, but maybe it helps in game, I don't know. It's just, we really don't want everything coming towards us here. But we are going to spend 5200 on the armor and the helmet. We just don't have a choice. We need every advantage we can get. Now we're going to try this. And I know a ton of people are going to say, like, why didn't you try it out on the range first? Look, the range can tell us if it's quieter, but it's not going to tell us if it actually matters in-game. I don't doubt that it might change the sound effect, but will it actually change the enemy's ability to hear us? I don't know. So what we're gonna do, stick this on, and stick this on our head, and we're gonna head out there in the morning after I've slept and eaten some pineapples. And what we need to figure out now is, well, I really just need to take inventory of all the advice you've given me. So here's the river, here's where we entered from Balotki Village before, and here's where we're going to be entering from today. There is the safe house nearby. But what we really need to understand is, how do we combat the threats that we encountered for the first time before? Those sliders, the dark angels. You told me, and I observed this in the last part, that they have to stop to attack. So as long as we keep backing up, well, we're effectively teleporting to them, making their only attack actually not that useful against us. If there's more than one, I am in a lot of trouble. But there only needs to be one APC to cause me a bunch of trouble. And we can't really do anything about that, which is why we are going to be quick slotting or pocketing, rather, a white smoke grenade. Reason being, we really need to be able to kind of smokescreen and ninja our way out of there if it shows up. Now, you told us that it's not actually all that perceptive, but if we end up in the spotlight, it's going to mess us up. So let's go over here, find that mission, and take it. A spatio-temporal anomaly has been detected at the former Kolka Zarya. The phenomenon is likely to be caused by a hidden artifact. It'll require a specific ritual to discover. Explore the location and search for hints that will lead to the artifact. Okay, so here's the plan. We will enter, try and avoid the populated areas if at all possible. Make our way down across the river if we can. Oh, I hope we don't have to cross that bridge, it's guarded. But get down here to the safe house if possible. If not, we fight our way across the bridge. And then into here. Oh. And we're also going to leave a little bit later, uh, because as we saw, it is quite dark there regardless of the time of day. Things get a lot more dangerous the closer we get to the radius, and well, it seems even the environment will hide our enemies better. Let's start. I am so going to regret this. It is entirely possible that we are not at all ready for this. But we'll never know if we don't try. Okay, even from this distance, I can already see the patrols on that bridge. And I don't really think we're going to be able to cross the river from here. Okay, so that bridge goes in that direction. How do we cross... Oh, I see. There's another bridge down there. And I do see the glow from that APC patrolling about, so we're not going to turn on our headlight for now, much as I'd like to. I can practically feel myself inhaling the ash in the air. That looks like a fairly large installation. Maybe we could do something there. 
But I think for now, for the sake of completing this mission, I'm just going to try to keep as low a profile as I possibly can. But I can hardly see down here. There's a spawn. And another. Okay, run, 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 run. They're definitely going to start chasing us. We may have to try killing them with, uh, with bladed weapons. I can hear you guys up there, and... I can see the ghost of a child on top of the bridge. The Stone's children were very adventurous, more so than I ever would be doing urbex, that's for sure. Something walking about, and without a light, it's very hard to actually spot what's going to be coming for me. What just ha- what's happened to me? I'm stuck in the bridge. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Oh, that was weird. Even the bridges have anomalous properties. Yep, that'll probably be the sniper from up there. Uh, keep moving. Didn't hurt me too badly. Just keep moving parallel to him, and he should have a hard time hitting me, right? Right? Yeah, as soon as we get around that corner, we'll have a stalker snack and try and make our way over to the uh, safe house. Just be careful something doesn't spot me over the ledge. <laughs> Uh, it's so cool how, after kind of becoming king of the jungle, as soon as I got this thing, I became a one-man army. And then this thing immediately was like, nope. Look at me crawling through the bushes in the dark. I hope the dark actually makes a difference. I mean, if they can see light, then it must, right? Uh. I don't want to turn my light on to look at my map, but the safe house should be in this direction somewhere, right? This place must be absolutely swarming. You don't need to know where I am. I could peek over that wall, have a good position to shoot down into there. But right now, it's got nothing I want. Maybe that's it. That looks like the one in the Pervame route, the first one we discovered. Oh, it's way off on the outskirts. You gotta be real desperate to use this thing. Which means it's perfect for me. Come on. No convenient ladder this time. Oops. Come on, let me up. Some health, perfect, and a stalker snack so that I don't have to dip into my own. Man, it feels so good to see a place like this right now. Just knowing that this stuff is here is a huge help. But man, I haven't been this nervous for this game, really at all, even in the beginning when I had truly no idea what to expect. That's nothing compared to getting thoroughly spanked and then having to come back after all the prep work I've done leading up to it. But it's preparing us even further. We definitely we definitely are going to have to start considering stealth as an option much more often in the future. Well, thank you, autosave. But now it's time to head back out there. What do we need to do? We need to make pretty much a straight line east. But it looks like there's a lot of houses and smaller structures over there. Oh, which means it's probably going to be swarming. I mean, bright side, making our way across these open fields, there should be fairly few enemies, right? And anything we do have to engage, well, it'll take a while for anything to respond to the sound. At least that's the hope. But if there's spawn crawling around out here, we're only going to be able to recognize them by the sound. 
Certainly can't see much on the ground here. I'm probably going to have to actually uh, do some visual editing on this one so that you'll be able to see. And it tends to... I've noticed that in Vegas, MP4 tends to render a bit darker than the actual recording. <sighs> you can... Oh, words cannot express how happy I am for this. These things need to stop trying to escape as well. Now what have we here? Uh... I'll certainly take it. Ooh, and there's even more over here. What are you? Uh, I can't actually put my hand on it. When, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I see it. I see it. Look at it just drive through those anomaly clusters. It does not care at all. Oh, and a seeker. And we're right out in the open. If we're going to engage that Seeker, that APC needs to be gone. And here they come. There is actually a decent amount in this field. Okay. Keep, keep, okay. keep a low profile. Keep it down. Oh, you're just circling, patrolling the area. We try to engage this Seeker, it's going to turn its spotlight on us. Got to keep ahead of the phantoms behind us, which are going to become increasingly hard to see. Oh, this is not good. We may have to just run for cover. We also got to consider that we have that smoke grenade. Run this way. Try to go between the trees. If we can get into the village, maybe we'll be in the clear. Or maybe even keep behind it. I don't know how it turns around. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep swimming. No shooters, which means they're not going to start shooting at me. And home free for the most part. We'll have a much easier time avoiding the APC now. I do hear a rift, though. And it's time to find out how quiet this gun is. Come on. Oh, you were taking quite a bit of punishment. I can't even tell if I was hitting you or not. But this thing is very quiet. We do have that going for us. I think it's... Yep, right there. Uh, come on. There we go. No enemy respawns for you. And I do not hear that... I do not hear that APC trying to come around. Well, that was a mess, but it was a mess that went better than it could have. Okay, now seems a time for a save. How we doing on, uh, how we doing on ammo? Not enough. Yeah, I'm trying to hold a position here and use that to, like, kill everything in a choke point, but that's not really working, nor is trying to open this. And I really hate that I have to use AP ammo on those guys, which honestly doesn't seem to be all that armor-piercing, in my experience. There's so much ammo. Okay, this is gonna be hard. There we go. A well-placed headshot will still do just fine against these Seekers, though. No, you don't. Oh, I think that's another... I think that's an angel. Yep! Two of you, do you always show up in pairs? Well, you certainly take a lot. Every time I saw one before, I was shortly thereafter killed by another. Right, uh, we need to reload badly. We have another mag in our backpack, but now is not the time to be grabbing it. And there's still more out there. Yep, sniper. And presumably, you guys can also hear, like, other people shooting, right? There's another coming up behind me. Ah, oh, that sniper's not- Oh, yep, you're still up there, you're just in the dark. Okay. We get inside again? Oh, there's so much here. We're actually doing a lot better than last time, but there's so much. I wonder if they'll be able to track me in here? 
I mean, if we keep our lights out, can we climb? Oh no, I thought there was maybe a rafter we could climb up. Well, they definitely know I'm here now. We don't own ammo. Let's also take a moment to grab our other one. Put that in there. And how much is in you? Three bullets, so you'll go away for now. Actually, you'll stay. And maybe we can top off from that other one. I mean, if we have a second. Okay, the lighting was doing weird stuff. Nope, you really are coming. Okay, that's going loud. This is horrifying, just being holed up in this one choke point, sort of safe for the moment, but not with all the things I need, certainly. Okay, we can load up on that. It's real lucky we found this ammo. I thought I was coming extra prepared. Turns out not so. All right, so 19 rounds here. 30. 15. And... three. <laughs> oh boy, this sucks. Alright, you know what? I actually want the tougher guys to know I'm here. Maybe they'll try and filter through that door. Does light even matter anymore? We just need to get sight on them. But I'm just- I'm just fighting a battle now, though. I'm not even- Okay, other end of the village, we're almost there. Oop. I am so proud of my ability to do that now. We're still doing good on health. We're actually doing remarkably good on health, which is surprising. But if we can make our way down here and cross the street... I can definitely still hear that APC out there, though. This ain't a good place to engage that sniper from at all. Nope! Keep our head down! Even more horrifying sounds that I've not yet heard. Good job on keeping the content fresh and original, Radius. I think it's that house right there, actually. Let's just be... Let's just be extra sure. Maybe we'll pop a flare across in the street, but I think we should be okay. What have you got to say? You gotta find that shopping list. Oh, okay. Buy stuff. Bring it home. Put it on the red cloth table. Why am I always the one running errands? <sighs> Shooter. Alright, there's one on my right. I think maybe one on my left somewhere. And the shooter down the street. Oh my god, I hate that sound so much. <sighs> Temporal distortions is right. Alright, let's... There we go. Breathing is great when you have a second. No. Oh, come on, tracking, don't do this to me. It's a, it's a whole Mad Hatter's tea party. Oh no, I forgot about the tide. Dear Valya and Sasha, congratulations on your wedding. Wishing you a long and happy life together. Hugs and kisses. There's still another thing out there. Okay, we're gonna get teleported away. Uh, everything in here is not gonna stay dead. God, I should have slept another day. Let's grab what we can while we can. I want candy. Where's my candy? 
I gave the shopping list to Uncle Elor. Why didn't he go yet? Is that his black car parked outside? So there's your black car. Oh, there's something here. Come on. Mom asks to buy all this stuff and two boom grenades. Leave all on red tablecloth. Get it later. All right. <laughs> Does that help me solve the anomaly? Well, here it comes, I guess. And apparently I can still take damage. Well, what is all this? What is what, 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 what? Uh. Okay, this thing can come as soon as it wants, please. No, seriously, please teleport me. You are going to shut up immediately. Now, where did we end up? Oh, not too far away. And we can get to here from Pabeta Factory. Depending on where this goes, it might not actually be the worst shortcut. Now, let's get back there, even knowing that it's probably going to be completely reinfested. See, the issue is, in order to actually, like, dig down and investigate, it's going to be really difficult because we pretty much have to clear the town, and now... Well, now, with what ammo? But this is not the worst way to enter the village, for sure. Up, oh, here we go. Yep, sniper's back. And soldiers. And Katya. And... Alright. Uh, where- okay, I think I see you. I think I see you. Oh god, that's the light from the BMP! No, 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 no! Okay, well, you are in play, and you know I'm here. Let's hope you can't shoot me through the slats. Your searchlights are certainly keeping trained. And let's hear what Katya has to say. Out west, this I wonder. I don't think it was anyone's house. It's too big. Though maybe it was some rich bureaucrat summer house. A few of them had those. I think I'd like to live in a big house one day. Ironically, when I was living in our little apartment with my parents, an apartment of my own was the height of my imaginings. But after all this time in the darkness, I keep dreaming of a big house with big windows and lots of open space. Would you want something like that? When you get out of here, I mean? Do you dream of getting out of here? Returning to normal life? I guess we don't really know what life is like beyond the zone now. But what if it's just like it used to be? People living out their lives in houses big and small. Wouldn't that be nice? It sure would. Huh. Too bad that dream is immediately dashed. Uh, this should be a job for the Glock, actually. Come on. Who's next? I've got it trained on head level. Aimbot. And there's more of you out here. Yep. Okay, forget this. We need to find that rift. That's the only thing that matters right now. And I don't think it's guaranteed to be in the same place either. A whole lot of shamblers. Let's go. To dream of a house. Trying to hunt down that noise, but I just can't place it. I don't see that APC either. Uh, perhaps over here? Yep, I'm getting a reading. Y 
Yes, right here. Okay, good, 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 good progress. <laughs> wow, the game did not like me doing that. And I apparently can't pick it up. Uh, there we go, right in there with your friend. I gotta put those in my backpack. That's not a smart place. I can't quick access my quick accesses. No, oh, you guys, get out of the way. Uh, now I'm thinking what we need, that's a seeker out there, is to head back there, but I think we may even wish to, uh, we may even wish to fire a shot with the safety glock to draw out those angels that I know have to be around here somewhere. There you are. You might be a sniper on the roof. You are a sniper on the roof for sure. Uh, let's use... That was satisfying. All right, let's crash a wedding party. Huh, so there's actually a whole tower overlooking this village. Maybe it has something to do with that, but I don't friggin' know. Because the whole armored brigade is on me. And the problem that I'm realizing is that AP ammo isn't. Like, it really does not work well at all. I don't know what to do about this. I don't know, I'm not even getting a hit on my anomaly detector, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I've already died trying to do this, like, several times, reloaded several times. I'm really hoping it's not just going to be like a scavenger hunt, like I'm supposed to find these random items and put them there. Uh, there we go. Nope! Get inside! How much ammo? Not enough. We have one full mag left, and that is it. And we need to save it for those angels! I don't even know where they're shooting at me from. Safety Glock, which is probably going to bring the angels. We have no time for this. Alright, let's... In case this is what I'm meant to be doing, let's grab that shopping list, because apparently that's what we do in this game. How much ammo? Not nearly enough. Large beef cans, pineapples, four drinks, five candy bars, and two boom grenades. I might already have some of this. Here's a question. Does it matter if those cans have already been opened? It's actually going to be a pretty big deal to figure out. Now, what's up in this tower? Something good, I hope. Something on that list, I hope. Another note, I've been talking about a stash. We had a nice little chat, just the three of us. The bloke, me, and my soldering iron. Luckily, we managed to recover his memory. You'll find the stash in the stove in a wooden hut in Kakal's. There's a UAZ parked nearby. Okay, well, that truck certainly helps narrow things down. What are you? Canned beef, okay. And this is a safe house. Well, this is, if nothing else, a good place to scout from. And the fact that we're not getting shot means that at the very least, we're probably done with the snipers. Tell you what, I'm gonna sleep. Pray that this place is less populated in the morning, or at least hasn't respawned anything. We did destroy the rift, and I didn't hear another one. And hopefully everything will have actually followed me up here, and that'll give me some time down there. Now, before we turn in for the night, let's review this one more time. We need three canned pineapples, four drinks. Uh, we've got some of that. Uh, five candy bars. We've got two of those. I'm actually going to have to eat some of my own pineapples just to recover my strength in the morning. 
And yeah, there's definitely armored boys down there. I'm just gonna have to keep moving. Those angels are... Oh, they're still out there. I can kill them with the safety glock. But other than that, I'm about all out of moves. Are you... Hello? Okay, so... What we're gonna do is just start going into houses and looking for whatever goods we can find. I'm not gonna bother, like, picking out what's what in the moment. Uh, starting with this one right beside it, which I don't think we've really been into yet. Seems like things have quieted down at least a little bit. Now, what are you? Uh, more beef. All right, we'll take that. Uh, and what else? Let's start searching drawers, too. What are you? Not my type. Another candy bar. What does this say? Mom asks to buy two large beef cans. Okay. I'm really, really hoping that since they decided to reiterate on this, that that's what we have to do. I'm here in Fwumps. Still 22 rounds. Actually, maybe we should condense magazines. There we go. Alright, so, four drinks, uh, two beef cans, both open, hopefully that's not a problem, uh, but we actually do have two closed ones as well, so let's just put those down. Uh, yeah, four drinks, two beef cans, two pineapple, although one open, Ugh, I just don't know what's gonna be a problem and what isn't. Two grenades, three candy bars, so we need two more candy bars and some more pineapple, probably. All that stuff shouldn't be too hard to find in a place like this, right? I mean, we've been running into it the entire time. Uh, no. Of course, now is when it's all going to become so rare. Oh, wait. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise be. Praise be. Okay, that keeps us in the fight for quite a bit longer. Oh, wait. Is this perhaps the house it was talking about? The stash house? Gotta be one of these two, right? Uh, what are you? Are you not pineapple, so I don't care? You, my ammo, so I really care. There we go. Uh, this looks like it could be a stash house. Up in the attic. I'll have to look through these uh, cabinets as well. That thing is coming back around. Uh, gotta crouch real low to get through here, but I don't see anything. Oh wait, no, it said... It said in the oven, didn't it? Come on. Yes! Okay, sweet! Oh, and we know how great these things are. And a whole bunch of ammo to go with it. We'll fix it up and sell it. Oh, yes, beautiful, beautiful, thank you. And it's AP, too. You too? Yeah, not a ton of ammo, but it definitely helps keep us in the game. Some pineapple. Excellent. I hope the partially opened one on the table counts. But I'm starting to think that this is a whole village that just only ate canned meat. We gotta start checking all these cabinets. And there's a guy running around, which means it's probably a shooty. And another candy bar. Excellent. I think we need one more of those at the very least. This place has just got nothing. Oh. Howdy, bud. <sighs> That's right. <laughs> uh, but this is... <sighs> This is an absolute nightmare. I have been through all these houses so many times, I cannot find what I'm looking for. Another 
another one of these. All right, we have enough snacks. And I'm really hoping that we also have enough pineapple. Oh my God, finally. Oh! Uh, okay, you were so crazy, you caused my lenses to adjust. Uh. Okay, so does that mean that we have to... Oh, right there. Oh, that is so cool. It's like there were so many intense emotions around the struggle to get all this stuff onto the table in time that something about the zone actually, like, recorded that energy. It might have been a huge pain to get done, but that is such a cool idea for an anomaly. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else like that in the zone. Heart. The artifact glows and pulses. If you hold the beating heart in your hand, it sends the warm waves all over your body. It actually captured the feelings of the moment. I just, I just absolutely adore the more personal touches that this game puts on the zone and its history. Literally, all of this could have been avoided if you had just been on time in getting these chores done. Ah, uh, good going, Uncle Igor. All my homies hate Uncle Igor. But... Now we can make our way out, and it seems like we've picked just a great time to do that, haven't we? Run, run, run. Okay, where's our where's our nearest exit? Uh, probably right out through Pobeda Factory. I don't really feel like running all the way back through everything. Now, I have no idea how this is going to come out in editing. Really sorry if it doesn't look all that cohesive in the final edit. I, I reloaded so many times trying to figure this out, trying to get all the stuff for that table. But, you know, it's, it's always a pretty memorable experience when I spend so much time trying to get something done that I don't really think about what it is that I'm doing. I'm just thinking of it in terms of objectives. But when we found out what that was actually all for, and what caused it to be the way that it is... I don't know, I, I'm starting to think that, more so than in Stalker, the radius leaves, or at least captures, impressions of people. And it makes me wonder if maybe we can't actually trust Katya a little more than I thought. I mean, hey... Maybe there's some intelligence to the radius itself. Maybe between that and trying to bring people closer to its center, those entities, which are different from the others, not just impressions, that seem to take the form of angels? Maybe in some way it's actually trying to be, like, comforting. Oof. Uh, curse you ankle-high fences. They're just too much for a stalker of my caliber. Okay, and apparently it's because this graveyard is haunted. Come on. We're so close to getting out of here. We're so close to being done with this episode. Wow. Little Sally is really mad that Uncle Igor didn't get her candy. Now, what's in the gravekeeper's shed? Huh, for a second I thought that was uh, a one of those things. A rift. I'll happily accept that as a reward. Uh, we are just, look at all these things, plus the one in my pocket, plus the regen. Uh, this armor actually really did make a very big difference. And it may have to continue making a difference. Wow, that soldier is stalking me relentlessly. I see you moving out there. Oh, there's so much cover, though. Maybe I should... Maybe I should kill my light and just keep running. 
Yep. Being on the road's not the safest place. It's so open. But, uh... We're almost to Pobeda Factory. If we can just get over this hill... There's our ticket out of here. Oh, look. Oh, this thing actually almost does look like a double helix, the way it's all twisted up the middle like that. Alright, let's get out of here and find out where in Pobeda Factory this actually takes us. We're not out of the woods yet. Oh, jeez! Oh my god! Oh, okay! Oh, no! God, god, god! Jesus! Well, we figured out where it comes out. Now, hopefully... Is that the APC? No, I think that's just a truck. I think that's just a truck. So many things out here, but... We need to... We need to figure out how we're getting back over that bridge. I think that's to our right, right here. Here's another one to use. Tell you what, it's a lot better than what was greeting us in Pobeda Factory. It's gonna take a lot to clear out that checkpoint. Two more of you fellows. God, I hate these things so much. And it's you. Okay, down here, down here, down into here! Uh, where do I go, where do I go, where do I go? I'm about to run out of breath. Yep, you're shooting, you're shooting. And we're in the place where we don't want to be. I still have that smoke grenade. You guys are gonna struggle with that, good. Break loss, break loss, do this XCOM style. There's probably a lot of things in here that are being drawn by all that noise. Just keep going. It may even be worth it to use our other rounds on you guys. Can we get out over there, maybe? I just don't want to draw any angels right now. That's like the last thing I want when we're in the home stretch. Hopefully we can make it through there, kill our light so the thing doesn't immediately reacquire us. Thank you. Only we're on the wrong side of the river. I'm wondering if maybe I run and hop over here, we can clear it. Oh. Huh, we can actually go underwater to an extent. I did not know we could do that. I've been damaged by water before. Yeah, maybe it's anomalous water, but once again, goodbye. This place is awful, and I hate it, and it's the worst in the entire world, and everyone here can die. Okay, and thankfully, this is a shortcut home, which means that our journey for the day has concluded. Oh my god, this has been the most exhausting record session yet. And the thing is, it's not even that I've died the most times. I actually didn't die that many times. But I reloaded so many times during the hunt for all that stuff just to make sure I didn't burn too much time. Uh, at least in games, certainly burned my own time in exchange. Ah, uh, but what a mission. Definitely the most immersive thus far crawling around in the dark trying to avoid all those enemies, including one that I couldn't kill and a couple that I really did not want to draw the ire of. <sighs> Having to re-clear all that village again. Having to do so on very, very limited ammo, despite coming in with even more ammo than I've ever brought on a mission before. Oh my god. What's my record time? I'm really curious to see. Uh, it's about to be three and a half hours. Wow. Oh man, but I'm really proud. I'm actually really proud that that went as well as it did because even though it was the toughest challenge yet, thinking on my feet actually kept me from dying too many times. Weaving between houses, popping out to eliminate what I could when I could, prioritizing the rifts and all the preparation that went into it. If we're gonna do a big mission like this again, I'm definitely bringing like several extra magazines in the backpack instead of just the one. But after that, I'm still honestly afraid to know what it's gonna throw at me next. Next time we go into the jerk zone, 
will be making a beeline straight for, uh, what was it called? Petrorus Castle or something like that. But in the meantime, we are delivering our artifact, the heart. Yep. And I will take my $5,500 and a brand new security clearance. Oh, that's so satisfying. I, I, I loved that mission so much. For as immersive as it is, in this entire game, I've never felt that in it before. I mean, having to do so much just to stay out of sight as well as defeat the enemies, uh, that was truly a memorable experience. And the way it was such a long haul thing, having to plot my route, stopping over at safe houses, spending the night, overlooking the village, trying to figure out what's still there and what isn't. And then to spend all that time seeing this place as an arena, as geometry that's meant to both help and hinder me as I clear this place, and then slow it down a bit and have to follow these just mundane instructions for a mundane reason that's not like anything we would see in the zone in order to like sort of solve a puzzle in the current day. It, it just helps you connect with what this was so much. And then it makes you take a moment to stop and realize what it is you're walking through and the tragedy of the zone itself. Not to mention giving some hints as to the nature of the thing. But I'm going to polish off these weapons, get them in top working condition again, including the other AKS-74U that we found in the field, and make a whole bunch more from the other lootables we found, but that'll be next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.